once it becomes dominant on the reef, there's no stopping it. It'll just spread and spread, you know, throughout the keys, and you've lost all of the, the groupers and the snappers, and the, you know, your kind of complex, ecologically diverse uh, ecosystem. We've gone from maybe seeing one every couple weeks to we now see probably a lionfish just about every dive at some point. A scourge has reached the Florida Keys, a venomous, flamboyant-looking killing machine from the Indo-Pacific Ocean called the lionfish that might soon wreak havoc on this already threatened marine ecosystem. If that habitat got disrupted by these very voracious eaters, you might go into an area and not see a fish. Scientists and managers here are at a loss how to deal with a lionfish. They say their only hope right now is to enlist the help of the local dive community. Uh, there's a lot of structure under there, and uh, I found a couple of lionfish just laid up on some pipe, and I ran smack face into a couple of uh, Goliath grouper, about, I don't know, 150, 200 pounders. So. There's some major creatures underneath this first pile and we're going to, but it's going to be fun. All right, you ready, Jeremy? Strap it up, let's go. On a recent Saturday, 18 teams of divers participated in the third and final stage of a newly created lionfish tournament in the Florida Keys. It's a one-day event. They are allowed to start collecting lionfish at sunrise on Saturday, November 13th for this one and um, they can collect lionfish however they like, with nets or with spears. One of those teams, called the Lion Hunters, allowed me to tag along on their expedition. Go, Bobby, gotta go. The lionfish has been present in Atlantic waters for almost a decade, but its recent rapid spread has been breathtaking. Theories abound about how it got here, but scientists think the fish probably came from an overturned aquarium in the 1990s. So just in the past year and a half, lionfish have invaded the Keys. It took them a while for them to breed in those areas, of the other areas of the Caribbean, and the currents to actually take their eggs and their larvae up to the Keys. Dive, 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 going away. Team Lion Hunter comes from Melbourne, Florida. They are Rob Pillis, Jeremy Norcross, and Mike Dugan. Go big or go home, like I like to say. We are diving beneath one of the long ribbons of bridge that connect the Florida Keys. The current is moving so fast that we have to submerge quickly and stick closely to the ground. The water here is murky. We are far from the popular reef systems that most divers prefer, but there is life, including lobsters and schools of fish. And then, after just a few minutes, a lionfish. The lionfish eats the juveniles of most every fish on the reef. Its spines are highly venomous, and it can breed like crazy. They have the possibility of producing up to 30,000 eggs every four days. And with no competition and nothing to eat all of those eggs while they're floating around in the ocean, the potential is complete dominance of the, of the, of the reef structure. The lionfish can become so dominant that they seem to lose fear of humans that can make them relatively easy to kill. After two dives, Team Lion Hunter has caught 16 lionfish. It's actually kind of scary there were so many there. Really? I grew up on the water, and uh, I have a, a wife and a son and one on the way, and I mean, I hope to let my kids grow up on the water like I was raised. You know, if you get, whatever, 20 or 30 of them a weekend and you're just doing your part to help out, uh, maybe save a species. I think there's something cool behind that. The threat posed by the lionfish here is severe, and not just to the marine environment. The invaders' impact could be devastating to the region's economy, which relies heavily on commercial and sport fishing and recreational diving. We make our livelihood by taking people out to see the fish. And uh, if that was to disappear, then one of the primary reasons to come to the Florida Keys is gone. They're expanding at such an incredible rate that, you know, something has to be done. And, you know, whoever it is, whether there's a guy that just specifically goes out and does it, or if it's us on the weekends, or, you know, in these little tournaments, it's all going to help. Oh, yeah, boys! Whoa! <laughs> at the end of the day's tournament, a total of 109 lionfish were captured. 309. Team Lion Hunter caught 25 enough to win the tournament and $1,000 in prize money. 
There's one more thing. Lionfish are good eating, and restaurants may soon be serving them here. But whether all this is enough to make even a small dent in the spread of the lionfish is another question. A question of deep importance to the people who live here and to those who may visit in the future, when these waters could look a lot different than they do now.